Facebook family and friends. To God be the glory. This is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. I'm Elder Van R. Jones. And I'm co-pastor Sandia L. Jones. Let's, Let's talk. talk. Amen. 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 I feel good this morning. God is so good. I mean, knowing that the favor of God is on your life, man, makes you be motivated and productive in yes, the kingdom. Yes, it does. Hey, Amen. My wife started her class Thursday. And uh, yeah, I started Wednesday. Started Wednesday. 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 Was first day of school. So she's officially getting her study in. I'm a boiler and maker. We're boiler makers now. We got our gear on and we'll be visiting the school probably next month. And other than that, we're going to go ahead and get with our opening scripture. And did you know our opening scripture always comes from Matthew 28, verses 19 and 20. It says, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things and whatsoever I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even until the end of the world. Amen. Let's go to the throne in prayer. Father God, thank you for who you are in our lives, Father God. Father God, thank you for the Son that you gave to us on the cross, Father God. Thank you for the blood. Forgive us of our sins, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Go out through the community, touch those who are suffering in mental illness, be with the homeless, dear Father, through this cold season. Dear Father, be with the bereavement families, dear Father, in the name of Jesus. Go into the highways and the byways, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, we love you on this day and no flesh on display. Amen. 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 It's, Amen. Been exci- it's been an exciting week. We had a lot going on this week, but you know what? Through innovative minds, what yeah. did we do? We made it through. We Amen. made it through and we persevered through it. This morning, our subject is new mindset equal innovation. innovation we were talking about change and progress and this is our last part of the subject that we're speaking on a new year new mindset equals innovation innovation that's Amen. right See? and the thing is though is that we got to remember this is black history month and yes, throughout sir. the black history there was a lot of innovators there was a lot of innovators that's and absolutely they did a right. lot of things that they done to make things easier for themselves and we get ah. we're, we're going to go into the top 10 after we go through our commentary pertaining to innovation in the kingdom that's right see in the bible we see innovation both in god's creation and in his new creation ain't that something amen innovation means doing new things and doing old things in a new way. In the Bible, we see innovation both in God's creation and in his new creation. And new creation is us. Amen. See, when we read Genesis 1, 1 through 5, according to the Bible, in the beginning, what it says, the earth was formless and desolate. And it says, in the beginning, God created what? The heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and it was empty. Darkness was over the face of the deep and the spirit of God hovered over the waters. Amen. And the thing is that we got to understand is that though, when God God moves in our lives, he will give us things to create, Mm -hmm. not changing anything, but to upbuild his kingdom. Just like with the altar, Minister Bernard followed his, what God gave him and placed in his family's heart to do this for the children. Innovations, that's right. Innovation, and we're going to speak on it as we go through our commentary. Go forward. That's right. And the thing that we have to understand is that God created, it was formless and it was destiny. So he he was innovative in creating. The first thing what did God create? He created light on the first day. Because you cannot be innovative if that light bulb does not come on. You have to be able to see. And the thing, absolutely, you got to be able to see it because that's why the first thing he done, let there be light. Let there be light. and, And that's when he made electricians too. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> I knew it was coming. We're the first tradesmen. <laughs> I'm so through with you. And God said, let there be light. And guess what? There was light. He said it and it was light. It mm-hmm. was no, no, it was nothing uh, where he stuttered about it. He said it was like, that's how we have to be innovative in our thinking. We said, we do it, we finish it, and we fall through on mm-hmm. it. God saw that the light was what? Good. Good. And he separated the light from the darkness. Mm-hmm. God called the light day, and mm-hmm. the darkness he called night. Mm-hmm. And there was evening, and there was morning on when? The, the first very first day. day. And you know, the thing is, though, when we allow God to change our mindset, mm-hmm. to move through progress, he will give us innovation. Uh-huh. Uh huh. We have to have innovative minds. Yes, we How do. can things be created if our mind is not is not working or or changing or doing things? And we do that every day in our lives. We just have to put some of that innovativeness to work. Amen. The thing that we have to understand is say in the very first God created, He created everything in an order. Mm-hmm. He could He created He created light first, mm-hmm. variety, and He created in beauty. We have to draw up the things that what we what God created for us, and we have to give thanks to those things. See, God created people in who his is, image. Uh, in His image mm-hmm. as the high point of creation. Being beings with Him, God could walk and God could talk with us in Genesis three eight through ten. Yet people's relationship with God was broken 
by disobedience. disobedience. That's and right. And that's one of the biggest problems us as Christians. We don't walk in true order. Mm. We be disobedient in the instructions. In the instructions. Isn't that something? And a new order was established. God's plans and purposes for mankind remain the same. But much of the Old Testament is the story of mankind's what? Unfaithfulness, mm -hmm. disobedience, disobedience and, occasion, and occasional repentance. The law given through Moses did not keep or make people holy. So God revealed a new way to win mankind. And see, that's the thing about it, though. When we are operating under the divine order, mm -hmm. obedience has to be set in place. It has to be set in place. It has Absolutely. to be set Absolutely. in place because we're not walking in obedience. We will not follow the instructions. No, we definitely will not follow the, the instructions. It was That's somebody, right. you work in the electrical field, so it was somebody that got shot first before they realized you got to put rubber on their head. Hey, 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 hey. Something, <laughs> something happened. <laughs> something happened. They changed right. their mindset on how we've, uh, how we've uh, uh, designed these tools. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. And when we read Jeremiah 31, 31 through 33, in which God promised a new way, we have to understand that there was something wrong, wrong with the old agreement and the covenant and testament between God and mankind. And, and that was? They kept breaking it. They couldn't be obedient. They no. kept breaking the commandment. They kept breaking it. They kept breaking it. They kept breaking it. So God said, let me come up with a better idea. Yeah, let me, a better idea. Mm -hmm. And that, when we, when that time was in this new way, God, who the prophet, who was the God prophet speaking? Speaking about in John 1 14 through 18. And this is what we got to understand. He sent someone in front of the new covenant. Mm. That was John the Baptist to let us know, repent. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The kingdom is at hand. The kingdom is at hand. And he was speaking about whom? He was speaking about Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. That's Amen. right. That's right. The, the Bible tells us we cannot get to the Father unless we go through what? The, the Son. Son. Mm. And that was the difference. That we have to understand the difference between the Old Testament and the, from the old agreement and covenant with God to the new agreement and covenant with God. With the new um, covenant and agreement with God, you must, you must, you must believe in his Son. And the thing is, though, when you don't have a true relationship with Jesus Christ, you're not going to follow the instructions. Mm. You're not going to even follow what he said inside of you. I mean, everybody has a gift, mm. but it has to be activated through your belief in Jesus Christ. That's right. That's right. See, Christians, as Christians, we believe that we have forgiveness for our sins through what God has done for us in Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. In the Gospels, we see how Jesus' life and teachings offer us a new way and a new life with God. See, it's got to be with God. I posted mm. something the other day, man. Without God in your life, man, you're gonna be you're gonna it's gonna be rougher than what it is. We're gonna have tribulations. We're gonna have we're gonna have situations in our life where that we cry out to God. And mm. the thing is, though, is that when we see ourselves not moving in that direction, God is trying to let you know, I'm trying to put something in you so that you can be innovative. So you can be innovative. I'm trying to put something in you so you can have a change. I'm trying to it, put, put something in, in you so you can, can have progress. progress. I'm trying to be, put something in you so you can have a new life within me. See, in the Gospels, we see how Jesus' life and teaching offer us a new way and a new, new life. If we read throughout the different letters in the New Testament, in Corinthians, 2 Corinthians um, 5, 17, Ephesians 4, 23 through 24, and Colossians 3, 8 and 10, and 1 Peter 2 and 2. And you guys go back and cross-reference these when you do the It's telling us how to have a new life, how mm -hmm. to be innovative, mm -hmm. how to have change, how to have progress through Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. See, God is a creator. God is an innovator. And that's the thing we got to remember. He created all of us ah. in our mother's womb. Ah. He knew exactly what we're going to be, mm. what we're going to do before we even done it. That's right. That's right. And that's, that's the right. thing about it. So he though. created our innovativeness through Throughout, throughout, because he knew yeah, what we were going to do, what, how we were going to feed through. And the thing is, though, is that you got to see it from his perspective. Ah. I created you for my purpose. Mm. I'm going to put things in you so that you can have change, mm -hmm. progress, and innovation. Mm, and have new ideas. And new ideas. And new ideas. Ain't that something? And change the old ideas. Yeah, most definitely. In order to make, make it a little bit easier for you. We're not changing the word of God. It's just like with, with the altar. Mm. That's Innovation. Mm -hmm. That ministry is for that's the, their church. That's that's for the kids and the kids only. Yeah, mm -hmm. the adults can come and get fed off of the word, but that church is set up for the children. Mm. See, we have to understand it. Like I said, God is a creator and an innovator. Mm -hmm. At the end of the Bible, in Revelations twenty-one and five, it is written, "The one who sits on the throne said, and now 
I make all things new. He makes all mm. things new. He make us new from our old fleshly ways to our spiritual that's ways. That's right. All the time. All that's, the time. That's he's right. Removing, that's right. He's removing self out of us so that we can operate in the spirit man and woman. Yep. And we have to understand that God's mercy is new every, every day. single day. Every day. And he assures us that we have a place in this new creation. Mm -hmm. See, with all, we are all made in God's image. And many people, and many people, and through many people, he displays his creativity. Mm -hmm. We can acknowledge the change is part of our life and welcome new ideas from people within our homes and communities. Often young people are full of new ideas. They're full of new ideals. That's why the altar has been created through God. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Minister Washington and his family is just being obedient and following their instruction. Following the instruction. And see, That's when you follow the instruction and innovation, he's going to give you the blueprint to fulfill ah, it. He's going to give you the schematic to fulfill it. Mm -hmm. The thing is, though, you can't deviate from the blueprint. Just like we were looking at a blueprint the other day at the job, and we noticed that there was a misprint in it. It told us to use number uh, a 12 wire, but it needed number 10. Mm -hmm. So we had to go back, pull the number 12 out, and pull the 10 in. That's See right, what I'm saying? Right. Because there was a mistake on the blueprint. Mm -hmm. Not saying that we didn't catch it, but after we reviewed it, we saw it. Just like with God. God said, okay, Van's messed up right here. Mm -hmm. I got to go in him and change his heart mm -hmm. so that he can make progress to do innovating things in the kingdom. That's right. That's right. Just like that's the right. podcast. This is a new way of ministering. That's a new way of ministering. And you're absolutely right. We have to realize that in our lives that God is the building. We are in his, in his building. Jesus is the contractor and the Bible is the blueprint. That's right. And that we and unless we we don't we won't understand the blueprint. If you don't get in it. If you don't get you it. You have to read it. You have to read scripture in order to know how to be innovated, ah. to know how to change, to know how to make progress. Mm -hmm. If you're not reading scripture and getting it in your heart, you will remain the same. That's right. That's right. See, all the people um, should create opportunities, discuss things with young people to develop responses to the challenges that would face them in later life. We can't keep shunning them. No. We can't keep telling them no, they don't no. have a purpose. You don't have a purpose in, in life. Because, in man, I watch, I watch the altar on Friday nights and I see how Lil Washington, our engineer, she gets up there and she's motivating. Mm -hmm. and they're singing. They're, they're, they're doing what thus says the Lord mm -hmm. in them. Even and they though, even have Lil, Lil, Lil yeah, Washington. Yeah, even though they're young, they still can be used by God. And that's what people don't understand. Don't shut their you ideas out. No, don't out. shut their ideas out. Because, it, listen here. Without Lil Washington doing our podcast, that's right. We wouldn't be able to do it. We wouldn't be able to do it. She's young, man. Yeah, I she mean, is. Fourteen. How old? Fourteen. She's fourteen years old. And she's running our podcast. She runs for the it. podcast for she us. Yes, that's right. Absolutely. See, not all, but we have to remember, not all new ideas are good ideas. So it is important to seek advice and to test brand new ideas to reassure each other that the changes which are about to come are consistent with God's what unchangeable purpose. Most definitely. And the thing is, though, we have to understand God will not change on us. We change, change on, on God him. All the time. He, has, he the has instructions and a purpose for us to move forward in the kingdom for his glory. Mm -hmm. And we have to think about the innovation in the Bible. We have to think about even when Pharaoh was upset with the Israelites and he took the hay away, they still kept building bricks. We have to understand with David, David saw gave him, David his honor, but David said, you know what? That's too heavy. I got a better, I've got a better, the God give me a better idea. And, that, and, and the thing is, though, is that see, David was doing it to get recognition. See, so if, if I mean, I mean, Saul was doing it to get recognition. Right, right, right. Listen, listen, listen. If David would have failed, Saul could say, well, I gave him my armor. He tried. Mm -hmm. and, it, it, and, and if he succeeded with the armor, he said, well, I gave him my armor. That's why he done it. No, God gave him his own vision and innovation how to do it. Go get them stones. Go get the stones, right. You are, you are excellent slingshot. Look what yeah. you are already Go get them stones. Go get them this, stones. Right, that's right. And absolutely. So that's what we have to understand is God would give us the ingenuity to be innovative. Most in definitely. his kingdom. Yep. And so it's 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 not difficult for us to understand that. So that's what we have to understand is that we have to reassure each other that the changes which come in are consistent with God's unchangeable purposes. And that's what we got to understand, unchangeable purpose. See, the thing is, though, just like doing black history, we're going to be talking about our forefathers, how they inspire us to move forward mm -hmm. in the future. And we have the top 10, we have the top 10 innovators that I Googled pertaining to what they've done in the past so that we can recognize that they wanted to make it easy for themselves. That's right. That's but right. It, it, but a lot of times, I mean, I'm, I'm not judging nobody, but we got to keep it 100. A lot of their ideals and innovation was stolen. It was stolen. But however, they are now getting recognition for the ideas and, and, and innovations that they created. We have to understand we have 
Philip Downey, who created the mailbox. You wouldn't be getting no mail no, right now for him, if it wasn't for Philip Downey. I mean, most definitely. <laughs> had, just, just like with the traffic light, 1922. Mm -hmm. That was Garrett Morgan. Who exactly. Created, hey, he might be some kidding ass Morgans. <laughs> and, and another thing, though, that was that, that the, the mailbox was created in 1891. Mm. So we still use it in. 2023. We still and, use and, it. And the thing is that, I mean, we got email now, it's electronically, but still, though, that's... Well, we still, we got, got mailboxes, yeah. We still that, got mailboxes. That's right, that's Just right. Just like the automatic gear shift that was created back in 1939 by Richard Spikes. By Richard Spikes, that's right. The clothes dryer, 1892 by George T. Sampson. Mm -hmm. Ain't that some automatic elevator doors, 1887 by Alexander Miles. Yep. So we have a bunch of creation. The, all of these people, you have to realize, all of these people had innovative ideas in order to make something very different, in order to make some, you know, something change. And make it easier for them. Mm -hmm, you know what I'm saying? The thing mm -hmm. is, though, is that anytime someone invents something, they was like, man, I need something to make this easier for me. Make you. it easier. You absolutely. Absolutely. The folding chair by John Paul Purdy. You wouldn't have folded, you know, the, the folding chairs you got at the church? Yeah. <laughs> and that was in, the folding chairs was invented in 1889. The gas heating furnace, 1919, Alice Parker. Am I right to say that? Absolutely. That uh, was, uh, which one was he? Uh, that was 1919. 1919. That's, the, that's the seventh, of the, the top seventh innovator. Mm, the golf tee. Ah, all you golfers out there yep. was invented in 1899 by George Grant. He not, not only did George Grant create an improved golf tee made up of rubber and wood, but he was also what? A dentist. <laughs> and became the first African American to become a professor at uh, the prestigious Harvard University. And I, that, that's, so, that's, that's what caught my, caught my attention about this cat here. He was one of the first black Americans to become a professor at Harvard University. Mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm, what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. the thing is, though, a lot of people don't even know that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now, what about the modern toilet? Ah, the modern toilet. That's a very important innovative yeah. idea. Mm -hmm. and, well, that was invented in 1872 by Thomas Elkins. In 1872, Elkins invented the chamber commode, which is essentially a toilet that featured a mirror back, uh, book rack, wicks, uh, washstand table, and easy chair. And, and I, I seen the design of it. I was going to put it up. But what it was, it was a bucket that was set like a regular toilet. Uh -huh. And you slide a bucket in and you have to remove it. And the thing was, though, he put it inside the house, keeping them having an outhouse. Ah, See what I'm saying? Okay, you okay. have to go out to the, you know, there was outhouses. I don't know if a lot of people used them, but I did. And I used to be terrified mm, of them. Ain't that something? Mm -hmm. The home security system was invented in 1966. By and her husband was an electrician. <laughs> You know what? I do anything got to do with electricity on it. It was by Mary Van Britton Brown. Brown, along with her husband, Albert Brown, the electrician, <laughs> invented the first home security system in 1966 as a solution to the high crime rate they experienced in the neighborhood of Queens, New York. Mm -hmm. Her vision used three peepholes to help her see through the door, a camera that would adjust from each peephole, mm -hmm. a microphone system that had allowed her to communicate with visitors, and a remote control that allowed her to unlatch the door and a button that would contact the police if necessary. Her invention paved the way for modern video monitoring, remote control locks, Push button, push button alarms, instant messaging to security providers, and two-way voice communication. And see, back in 1966, 1966, and they're still using it till this very day. That's they right. just, they just upgraded. It's, they just upgraded. It's the change, and it's the up. We got rings now. Yeah, most definitely. And That's the thing right. is, though, is that we have to remember, God gives everybody an ideal. Mm. It's how you maneuver through it and how you execute it and how you demonstrate the idea that God's gave you. Mm -hmm. See, just I have to use this for an example, just like the studio here. God gave us the vision. Mm -hmm. So we had to execute it just the way that he instructed us to That's do. Right. That's right. And, and get the people to be involved just like he instructed, instructed us to be. So our ideas may not be the greatest idea, but you have to be like-minded with yeah, people exactly, with a like exactly. spirit. They and, have the same spirit that you thing, have. The thing is, though, is that when we when I seen how Minister Bernard had it all set up at, his, at the church that mm -hmm. he's involved with, Christ Church of Lenore, and it was like... Man, I need that. Mm -hmm. So we have mm -hmm. to get it. We have to see. You can't do everything by yourself. No. We need one another. That's what I'm hey, saying. We need one and another. God made it that way yeah. so that we can have yeah, one absolutely. another. That's right. And That's we right. need one another. And the thing is, though, is that when I seen the setup, I told him that, man, but this is what we need. This is what the vision God has given us to do is to have a studio. And we started at the church. And then we came, we moved in here in August. And we've been here since then. God gave us the innovation. Mm -hmm. 
to move on that direction to do what we're doing because we trust God. Because you know what I'm we saying? trust God. I never had, I just told Minister Bernard he's going to be an intricate part in the ministry, uh -huh. but I didn't know that it was going to be his daughter. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's Absolutely. running the podcast for us. And the thing is, though, is that we have to always remember when God gives you an ideal, mm -hmm. you have to follow the instructions. Follow the you instructions. You have to follow, follow the, instructions. the instructions. If you don't follow the instructions, it's not going to be, it's not going to be successful. It's not going to be successful not, at all. That's not going to be successful. Turn on your light bulbs, just like God created like bring your bring your brains in and you know and, you know you know you know who you know back in the old buffs you know the 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 the, the condensate buff uh there was a filament in there mm -hmm. and it was a black man that invented that filament oh wow wow his name was tuxton filament huh so i'm saying a okay. lot of people don't understand well, i knew that you would know that everybody everybody thinks that certain things were created by no a lot of black people created and invented a lot of things just like the gear shift, just like the first open heart surgery was done by a black man. I can't think of his name, but we'll bring that up next week because we're going to be speaking on a few innovators, uh, people that invented things uh, through this course of the month. But this February is really the love month. Mm, it is and we will be speaking on love also that's right and that's one of the things that God created in us as a nation as a black nation is an innovative heart no matter what we, Absolutely. people have done it, to it, us or whatever exactly. we still love, love them and that's the thing about it mm -hmm. though is that People are not, they're not afraid of, of, of our power. Mm -hmm. They're afraid of our love. Our love. How our can, love. How, can a, how can a nation of people be treated the way that we've been and treated we still love. and be treated that's the way right. that we be treated and still love because still that's love. the God in our that's nation. That's the God in our, that's our That's the God right. in that's us right. as black that's, people. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Because we recognize who God is in our lives. In our lives, right? You and we, and, 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 and no matter what, and you have to think about it, no matter what, is that we love throughout it all. Yeah, so most definitely. We, we love most and, and when we say we love you, we mean we most love definitely, you. Most definitely. And, I, and right. I can honestly say that when God moves through our lives, gives us change, progress, and innovation, he gets the glory. He does. He, he gets does. the glory. And that's the main thing about us being believers is that we have to always give the glory back to God. And whatever we do, mm -hmm. if you come up with a fantastic ideal and it makes you millions of dollars, God gets the glory. God gets the glory. God gets the glory. Absolutely. 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 And that's that's an important factor is to always stay humble. Oh, no gotta matter, stay humble. Stay humble. You no stay matter humble. what innovative idea you get, no matter, you got no to matter stay how humble. many accolades you get, all the glory shit you always, always go back, right to, back God. to God. That's because right. if you're taking the glory away from God, then guess what? It's all worthless. It's all worthless. It's That's, all right. Worthless. That's right. That's right. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and close this podcast out. We love you guys. Mm -hmm. And one thing for sure and two for certain, God loves you too. Uh, and, and, and you know what though? We got our Purdue gear on this ah, morning. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, you know what I'm saying? God is Number good, one best te basketball team in the nation right now. I just want to put that out there. Big Ten <laughs> Championship. We're the Big Ten second in the um, conference in the Big Ten. So, you know, hey, just, just another school doing their thing. Yeah, man. So, with that being said, man, we love you guys, man. It's been a great week for me at work. And things is getting better with me as a person with my mental capacity. I'm trusting God to move in me and through me so that I can be focused on mm -hmm. the things that he wants us to do in the kingdom. And one thing we got to remember. Remember, family, is that always be humble. Always be humble. Don't let your pride get in the way, man. Stay humble, man. I mean, God is doing a lot of powerful things in me and my wife's life, but we still got to operate in humility mm -hmm. at all mm -hmm. times. At all times. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and put our announcements mm -hmm. up. And our announcements is tomorrow morning, well, this evening at 5 o'clock at the King Center Black History Month event. Uh, we having some singing going on. And this evening at the altar at 5 o'clock, there was an event going on for raising money for Kwanzaa. There's going to be some speakers there. I don't know all of their names, and I'm going to try to say it, but it'll be at 5 o'clock here at the Family Dollar Plaza. Sunday morning, I don't know who's standing on the wall. this, first Sunday? First Sunday. Bishop will be standing on the wall, and at Green Hill, uh, Pastor uh, Darlene Stokes will be standing on the wall there, and... Um, Tuesday night, Bishop will be here at the studio at 7 o'clock, hang out with Bishop. Wednesday at People's Tabernacle for God, there'll be Bible study. Bishop will be doing that. Black and History Month. Black History Month. And next uh, Friday, we know the altars at 7 o'clock, 6.30. It started at 6.30. They start the live stream at 7 mm -hmm. here at uh, Morganton Boulevard, here at the Family Dollar Plaza. And we'll be back Saturday morning at 10 o'clock doing our thing. And we'll be talking about love. This is the uh, love month. Love. Love. Uh. Love. Love will cover a multitude of sins. A multitude of sins. Amen. Right. And so with that being said, we're going to put our sponsors up. That goes on at the end, don't it? That goes at the end. That goes at the end. My bad little watch. <laughs> That's right. My bad little watch. That goes up at the I'm end. I'm like, what? Yeah. Let's go ahead and press out, Jones. Father God.
God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, as we come to you as humble as we know how, we always want to say thank you. Father God, we thank you for what you're doing, what you're about to do, and what you're going to do in our lives. Father God, we give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And our motto here at To God Be The Glory Ministry is... God first, all the second, self last, and no flesh on display. To God be the glory. Let the Lord go before you. Amen.